The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. Sink, sink. sink. Hey, I'm Takuma Nuva. Uh, I'm Brideran. I'm Kahi. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. And this is TTB Talks. We didn't screw it up that time. Nice yeah. job, guys. I'm proud. Third time's a charm. I feel like I'm going to puke. You feel like you're going to puke? I feel like I was going to puke after the awkwardness of that intro we this, did. <laughs> this escalated quickly. I wish we had recorded how bad that intro was. <laughs> so, mm, we can put yeah. it at the end, you know? But There's then we got rid of it. Enough people are going to hate me as it is today. I don't need that to tarnish me as well. Hey, it, it was, was like, just... It's the same sickness I had when I rejected this guy and then wouldn't leave me alone. Whoa! What is, yeah, wait a minute, okay. wait a minute. Wait, hold up here. Okay! <laughs> we are jumping again? leaps and bounds here, people. You are seeing it now. I know. <laughs> this reminds me of this time that I killed a gopher. <laughs> I accidentally ran over like, it with my toy tractor. I feel tractor. like LJ would legitimately try to use that segue. <laughs> he, actually, he used to kill gophers. I think he still does as part of his irrigation job. Hey, man, guys, that last that last recording was really awkward. Oh, yeah, it reminded me of that one time I dumped that dude, and then I slaughtered his entire family so to make sure he'd leave this, me alone. The Lannisters sent their make... guards. No, it was all I... over the news. So Viper's about to dump us all and leave the podcast? Is that what's happening here? No, Ouch, whoa, whoa, I whoa, sure whoa. hope not. That's no. uh, things are just that? gonna really yeah. escalate. <laughs> sometimes, okay, okay. The, Let... sometimes the only things I look forward to is this podcast. No lie. Oh, <laughs> well, oh, prepare to be really disappointed. Terrible. You're fired. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll find me under a bridge tonight, <laughs> hanging there. <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> took this a is, dark. This is literally TTV after dark. Not because <laughs> it's just so it's so dark. This is sure. advanced so darkness. No, this wouldn't be after dark. <laughs> Shut up, LJ. During dark. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, uh, the new Batman vs Superman. Darker, darker, darker. Yeah, we need it to be more brooding. <laughs> more brooding. No, right, I think we should. Brooding. We should. Let's let, let's go back a little bit, Viper, because you yeah. mentioned something pretty interesting. Yep. For whatever reason. Right, wh- where do you want me to start? <laughs> From the beginning. <laughs> right. Okay, so uh, I spend a lot of my time in the cafeteria alone, and like not because I'm I <laughs> I have to, because I want to. I like being on my own. <laughs> so uh, I'm like sat there on my on my iPad, like writing. And this guy randomly comes up to me, and originally I thought he was my friend's friend. You know that person that's like, oh yeah, this is Bobble, and you're like, hi, and they're like, hey. His so, friend's friend. Right. Uh, it actually turns out that he's just some random person that sits with my friends. He didn't actually introduce him, the person he was sat with. Um, oh, I know what you're saying. I, I'm, I was good friends with him before he left my my college, and then. Uh, oh, so he was just kind of around then. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a familiar. You know, okay, yeah. like there's like acquaintances, and then there's familiars, and then there's friends. And familiars is like this new term that me and my friends had coined because we saw so many people were in college that like. We knew a uh, question mark. Like we knew they weren't just an acquaintance. We knew them a bit more of an acquaintance, but they right. were our friends. But They're it's like, like people come... you hang out with, right? Yeah, right. even, I, I mean, I even less than hang out with. It's like people that like maybe they're classmates of yours, and you see right. them all and the time. You, you like have a conversation right. with them. Like, how do you like, do on that class. test? You know how, you how got long to know you stay them up? A bit. Yeah, I, there's a lot of people yeah. like that. Right? They're they're familiar. Where I come, acquaintances, but. Yeah. Where I come it's from, familiars bro. are like creatures you summon. <laughs> familiars. <laughs> you mean Skyrim? I are you... The familiar That's fiend. Are you from Skyrim, Takuma? No. I'm from Minnesota. I don't you know. Same thing. Um, okay, so this guy was a familiar then. He was kind of, he was kind of around. He was never really formally introduced to you. Yeah, right. yeah. And uh, he, he just like started talking to me. He like just randomly sat. I saw so him he came up to you and he just started talking to you. Yeah, so just one day you're just sitting alone 
writing and he just comes up to you well yeah and i felt this presence like like standing near me and, I, and then he like sat down next to me <laughs> i love how that was described i, I felt this it's, like, it's like a charismatic like person talk like a, like a baptist preacher talking about god it's like oh i felt this presence standing right and next to me swept down and so swept his shadow down loomed me. over I, me i i don't say it in a positive light but i was on my ipad so my head was like like it was like in my peripheral peripheral, peripheral vision. I right. could like, so he was, like sense breathing someone down was your there. Neck? No, he wasn't breathing so he, he down my neck. He was just like standing there over he, your shoulder. No, he wasn't standing over my shoulder. He was like standing at the end of the bench, like waiting okay. for me to like look up. So hmm. then I looked up and was like, "Oh hi," because I recognised him. And he sat next to me, and he sat like on the other side of the bench, and we just started talking. And I'm like, I in my head, I'm like, I don't even know who you are. That sounds like a really weird exchange. It was really awkward. Just off the bat. Like, most of our yeah, conversations okay, I mean, were really awkward. So if I, I can like, just uh... interject for a moment. Sure, okay. go ahead. Okay, the just walking up to someone part, that's fine. But if you're going to walk up to someone with the intent of getting their attention, you don't just stand there staring them down, waiting. Waiting for them to right. look at have... you. <laughs> Right. You have you initiate to initiate a conversation. Yeah. You have to initiate. Yeah. Like we did you can't just podcast. sit there. Just imagining this weirdo just kind of standing right behind you, staring at you, not even taking he, a he blink. He wasn't standing behind once. me. He was standing. At, basically, I was standing, like sat on the far end of the bench, and there's a wall there, yeah, no, he and was, he was standing he at was the other side of the bench. Right, but I mean, right. yeah. Still, he's just kind of like standing there waiting for you to look at him. It's a little odd. Yeah, and I was like, uh, we were talking, it was just small talk, so I had no idea what the heck to talk to him about. I was like, so how's college? He's like, yeah, it's okay. I should be in lesson right now. I'm like, why aren't you in lesson then? Like, Oh, you mean class? Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. Why aren't you in lesson? (laughs) Yeah, okay, sure. (laughs) Oh, British people. And then then I, I couldn't wait to get away from that guy I, I just had like a pit of my stomach Ooh. feeling I was just like so there's minute. something so he, really awkward just, about that guy so all he did was just try to talk to you though that was yeah all. but he was like that, just how is he the place really I even asked him I was it. like yeah. yeah I even asked him like how do you like randomly come up to people and talk to them like I could never do that I, when, I, when I like have to engage with a stranger uptown I usually freak out right no, I, same I usually yeah. don't I avoid people I don't know yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd rather just not talk to anyone. So, of course, I'm I'm weird like that. Like, I'm <laughs> me and Kahi have had discussions about this before. Where like, right? I'm super introverted. I'm just like, I do not want to. Like, we had a talk on the phone for our vessel thing recently. Um, to set that up, I had a talk on a uh, conference call with uh, with the people up behind vessel. I wanted to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that you wanted to avoid that. If I had known, I'd be like, oh, I'll totally take the phone call. I'll I hate like, talking to people on the phone. Dude, I hate I ta- it. I I love talking to people. It's like I was, avoid was, interaction with did. other human beings as much as possible. Because the conversation was like so awkward. Sorry, I'm continuing the story. Uh, uh, I didn't want to bump into him again, so I like kept like evading the cafeteria for a while, and like it I'm got just to imagining the point where you're, like, like rolling around. <laughs> When you say evading, imagine you actually like rolling around like rolling. the elites do. <laughs> like so I started stealth. evading around the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, continue, babe. Yeah, and then I, I, one day it was like I was I had to, I came in at nine and my lesson was at eleven, so I had to sit in the cafeteria for about two hours, and I'm like, I swear, I, yeah, he's gonna, but yep, there he is, great, so. There was like you, people. His friends would like come and visit him. There was like groups of friends who'd come and visit him. But there was a point. Mm-hmm. It was like an hour before, and it was just us two. And it was like the most awkward thing. And the thing is, is that this is like the third or fourth time I've spoken to him. And there's been other times where he was like, "Oh yeah, I saw some pictures of you the other day. Your eyes do look weird." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Whoa." <laughs> Did, did okay, you have a um, conversation wait, about your weird eyes beforehand? We... I'm going to say, what, what's what's the context yeah. for this remark? Did you okay, have, like, so I mean... He, he, one day he was, like, he was, like, staring at me, and I, like, looked up from my phone, and I was like, what's wrong? And he's just like, your eyes are... You're, you're, you have weird eyes. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, if you see in, like, some of my Facebook pictures, they're a bit weird. And then, like, the next, 
time I spoke to him, he was like, <laughs> I saw some of your pictures. They, your eyes do look weird. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that sounds I'm, like he's desperate to find some sort of common ground on which to speak. Right. Oh. And like, I, I he's was got like, nothing else to say. I'm like, they're mostly grey usually, and then he and then he says that that uh, that I saw some pictures of you. and Your eyes do look weird because I'd said my eyes are weird because they always change colour. And I was like, I, I started interrogating him. I like looked up and I was like, so you've been stalking my Facebook then? Oh. <laughs> I was like completely oh. honest. Where did you get to the point? Yeah, okay, I was I completely like honest Dang, about okay. it because I picked up on like what he was like trying to flirt with me and I, and I immediately was not interested. The thing is with me, as soon as I like someone starts flirting with me, I like judge them very harshly, eternally. <laughs> I'm like, it's, I, I, anyone can be my friend. No one can go further than that. Wow. Because <laughs> of that harsh. Whoa. Viper is the untouchable. <laughs> I don't I wish Damn. I wasn't. Like, it's just some, okay. like, I try, but right. I just don't feel so the wait. same way. All right. So did, what happened after that then? So, like, he he just kept being, like, really awkward with me and there was this point where it's like two minutes past like I'm going back to like the the, the hour thing on on our own and he's just like he's starting to go it, firstly he tells me like his story this story about like this rose and a and a tower and a thing and I have no idea like it was on iPhone notes <laughs> <laughs> so I was like reading it and I was like like assessing it and being like okay yeah so this this and that and I was just trying to find conversation because it was so awkward and then there was a point where there was nothing else to talk about and we just sat there in silence he he just kept like beating around the bush about it instead of like asking me out I was just like just get it over with and ask me out so I could say no and he was just like mm. nervous but it was just I was trying to be nice and refuse him in, in the nicest way possible so I just said to him, instead of him being direct, I was direct to him to be like, because I was just like, he's obviously like not enjoying being awkward with this. So I was just like, I put my hands on the table and I was like, look, I'm not interested. I don't know you've shown interest in me, but I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way. <laughs> and I mean, like, what if he was just like, what if he was just like, what, what are you talking about? Oh God, that'd be, I'd, I'd apologize beyond no measure. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, excuse uh, me, I'm not interested in you, lady. But the thing I is, just wanted to make a new friend. Like, uh, yeah, he's like, I'm uh, gay, dude. The thing <laughs> yeah, is, is yeah, that it, it turned out to be gay. The thing is, is that it's pretty hard to like agree with that because before he'd said that, he'd said things like, "Oh yeah, you know, I said I was tired," and I was like, "Yeah." It's like, well, I couldn't sleep because of you. Oh. oh okay. Well you should have you should have let in with that. All right. Oh wow. why why, why, why no did you excuses. lead with that? Why yeah. did you wait until now you to start with that? You're talking back. about like that was that's the thing where you're like okay. that's, yeah, that's what we wanted to get to. Yeah, that's what we wanted to get to. Is like I'm I sorry, can't see my, that's way different than just like my mind's like really you know. jumbled as I talk about this, but like All right, look. It, <laughs> okay, I saw I, some I, Facebook photos the other day. Also I can't sleep because I'm thinking about you all the time. But right. yeah, I, so yeah, like I said no, and I thought it, I'm, I thought that he would just leave me alone after that, but he didn't. He like still kept trying to like sit next to me and like not like touch me inappropriately, uh, but like try and hug me and like touch my shoulder and like be shoulder to shoulder uh, with me. Oh my god! And I'm like yeah, feeling I, I, so I ridiculous. This guy is like uncomfortable. Yeah. This guy must have read a book called What Not to Do. In approaching a right. girl, and just read it the wrong way. <laughs> what? Is, okay. What? Real talk here. What is it with dudes and thinking they can like change a girl's opinion? <laughs> why does that? Why is that such a thing? Oh, here's, why, here's why do people? Thing. Okay. There's basically the real reason is that there's like maybe five stories of somebody actually changing a girl's opinion, and then those five <laughs> stories get turned into movies. <laughs> and then that's just like that's what, that's what everyone's, everyone's thinking like oh there's you know it worked for one person this one person was able to it change it worked and of in course, that one you know, chick flick right yeah, in that one, one movie 
It's funny, man. Yeah, th- 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 this is a common thing. Like, I- I've I've got some oh, friends that have so, that have, oh, it's so bad. That have complained about this before. Like, with, with like people hitting on them or whatever. They and they just could not take the hint. And even after being shut down, they would continue to harass people, mm-hmm. trying to get them to change. Their I opinion. have what you might call secondhand experience in this field because you have sisters. As some. As, I've got five sisters. Oh man! And in, partic- uh. and in particular, I have very often run as a, what's the word I'm looking for? Not reconnaissance, uh, not distraction, interception. The big brother. Interference. <laughs> yeah, you're, interference. you're the big brother. Yeah, I've, You've run. I've been, yeah, I mean, technically, right. I'm her younger brother, but uh, interference. Yeah, I have oh. run interference for my older sister on more than one occasion, where I see some guy bugging her, and. You just know she wants to get away, so you just come up and you just figure out some reason. It's like, hey, w- w- uh, we gotta go, or hey, uh, remember that thing, or you know, something to get her away from the guy. Yeah. And there's no. just one guy that persistently, after how many, that, that's a Viper, you're my hero. Because Aww. you just flat out said to the guy, no. And here's the problem okay, men have a lot of problem taking no for an answer. Right. Women have a big problem with Not giving no, the right. no answer. Oh, no, yeah. no, listen, honestly, I, I should. Because this is – my sister and I, we don't talk that deeply about a lot of things, but it's one of the things she trusts me with. And one, it's like, yes, these guys can't take a hint, but something I see with her and other girls is they don't say no. You, you don't they, give right. the hint. They, they tr- you they have tr- to yeah. flat out say no. And as right. we can tell, a lot of – men are too stupid to take that answer. Yeah, uh, but the thing about men is they will hang on to the slightest glimmer of hope that there might be something. Oh, man. And if you, I could talk about a couple of friends of mine. Bad idea. Uh, <laughs> if there, if there are any girls pacify. listening to this, right. do this. If a guy is hitting on you, just tell them no. Please. If you yeah. even, if you even do not give pacify them. a glimpse of hope, any kind of glimpse, if you're too nice and you're just like, uh, yeah, I mean... I, I I just broke up with my boyfriend, and I'm not really feeling I'm not open really to a relationship for right a now. Relationship right I'm now. not really into one right now. Yeah. That what that tells the dude is that you're open. You will be open to it at some point, possibly. Yeah. And I, He's, the thing is, like, yeah, there's a possibility right. that she that you will be open, and that with with that possibility, that dude will cling on to all hope. And, okay, yeah. Don't it's leave not... the door open if you don't want them walking through it. Some people, again, they don't know how to take a hint. This, this is common for a lot of guys. Don't know how to take a hint. They also like. You know, sometimes when you're there told no, they'll repeatedly come back to you, and that is, I mean, that is definitely a problem. It's not like it's only girls' issue for not saying stuff. Guys have a oh, definite no. issue in this, too, and it's horrible, I, I, and, I, I, right. I, th- can, I think the, the blame is mostly on the guys. <laughs> the, yeah, it is very much on the guys. Uh, however, okay. however, we need to be able is, to take hints. It is, it's like, it 50, is, 50, I, I have so many, like, all of my, like, I don't know, I, I hate saying some of it, all my female friends, basically. It's a notion where they don't want I mean, they don't want a boyfriend and they don't like being hit on, but they never actually say no. One friend of mine was <laughs> she was so nervous about like someone came up to her and asked for her number and she was so nervous and wanted to get out of the conversation that she just gave it to him. And then she went and she got a new phone. Because <laughs> she was like, I d I don't want to say wow. anything. It just happened to another friend of mine too. <laughs> Why or don't she, do that? Just say no. I, I, I feel the, like she the, she was complaining that every time one I guy, talked to them. They're like, we. I don't want to be mean. That's like the thing. Like, I don't want to be mean. Well, I was gonna say, they excuse often. I don't want to, don't want to be mean. Right. I don't want to hurt so them. I don't want to. I've had that no. conversation See, before they, too, yeah. where it's like, you. I had it all the time. Who cares if you're being if mean? This if you person don't even like cannot... the guy, if the guy's not even an acquaintance to you, who cares if you're being mean? Just right. turn them down. See, the thing is, the thing is, you're not being it, mean. You're teaching them to learn to accept rejection. You're and being mean by leading no, them on. They're going to think. Exactly. That's what yes. I was going to say. Yeah. The, the thing is, by doing that, you are in turn being meaner because you're giving them a false sense of hope and leading them on unintentionally. Yeah, and exactly. uh, honestly, I don't deserve to be called a hero to Kuma because I actually didn't I the only reason I said no is because I you felt like personally on. Oh, you're attacked horrible. by him no not no, I mean, not int- any reason so long as it's no not intentionally <laughs> but I like tried the fact that I you straight up said give, no is enough I tried to give like passive attempts that I said I was saying like being like I wasn't interested by ignoring what his like texts and things like that and like being like nah I can't bother to go to the the cinema or like things like that but obviously it didn't work I mean, so at I, least I had you to... turned him down at all 
yeah and yeah. it got to the point where i was like i have to say something otherwise it's just it's just never going to go away so i was like so we'll see that the- this is, that, that happens with certain guys as well. Like, right. here's the thing. There are hints when someone is not interested, and usually they're pretty obvious, but dudes, coming from a, a guy myself, it's easy for us to forget that there are boundaries sometimes. Lust is a very powerful thing. <laughs> I was going to say, if, yeah, when right, it comes down have, to you it, have to be very aware you have like, right. a, a, guy, a guy will have a goal. He's like, that's my goal. I'm going to go for it. Everything else just kind of pew pew just ricochets off. Right. If he does not it's... hit a brick wall, he's going to fight. Some, some, fighting. some, some well, guys we... will get the hint. A, a lot of guys will get the hint. Oh, okay, some guys will just that like has to get be the wrong taken idea. into account. Some people, most people, don't like being creepy. That's not like that's not like a thing where some people are okay with that. Most people don't like. Like you know that notion, and of course you'll see. I mean, you see this usually in uh, like YouTube videos of like cat calls and those kinds of people, and those people do exist. And I think you know that they are the kind of people that are okay with that. But most people no, don't want to be I, creepy. I, honestly. I think people that do cat call, I don't think they realize they're being creepy. They think they're being nice. They think they're complimenting a girl by calling her like attractive yeah, okay. or something right, when they walk by. Uh, I mean, I mean, and it's not. That, it's it's yeah. a there are so many different ways like, you could take okay that. Now. School. Yeah. It's, yeah. But like, it's uh, not okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's I, I, not an okay thing that. to I'll do at all. Ne- fans, I, uh, the majority of our demographic is young boys. Right. Never cat call any no. woman ever. Don't don't do that. That's terrible. That is the rudest Never. thing you could ever do. Really. I remember seeing like videos and on that like on YouTube though, like with people like cat calling chicks, and a lot of times they'll like. They'll justify it by saying, oh, they they were just trying to compliment her. Like, she should be thankful right. that yeah. she's getting such compliments and stuff. Like, that is BS. But I, I maybe they truly believe that, though. It's still BS, though. Right. I mean, Tell like- the truth. Some girls would take it as a compliment. There's just too many different ways that too many people can take. There's too many ways to imply and infer things. You just – the safer thing is to not right. do it. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I also would assume, I mean, this is generalizing, but let's, I mean, let's face it, right? We're all here because we're really excited about a toy. Generally speaking, <laughs> us included and most of our audience generally fall more to the, like, the nerdier or kind of more, you know, self, like, self, uh, what's it called? You know, a bit more nervous and a bit less uh, confident than, like, the, you know, Self-aware. people like Jobs. Right. Kind of, you know, there, there's there's certain pe- the people that do do cat calls. I don't think they're in our demographic. I don't think we're the type of people. So you that mean, do that. socially because, awkward. Again, they're not right. out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They're not that, outgoing that, enough. To that do is that. true. Right. That's right. True. The outgoing people, like the construction workers and stuff, they'll cat call. Usually, they don't go on YouTube looking for videos about toys. I say we can safely say that, you know, on the scale from like creepy, outgoing creepy to like awkward, you know, kind of creepy, most everybody would, you know, uh, would listen to this will fall on. Uh, the awkward-ish side. I would but, hope so. But, I mean, nobody wants to be awkward. That's not like... No one wants to be awkward, but... Right. That's, at the so same that's, time... That's the thing that we have to get across. But at the same time, people are taught to be, like, to chase after no matter what. That's, like, a, a fundamental thing of, like... That is know. a societal thing. Right. Is, there's, like, there's, there, there is a pressure to get into it, especially for young boys, there is a pressure to find a girlfriend, to get a girlfriend. Oh, right. It's so stupid. stupid. Okay. Uh, it's I've very so stupid. many guys talk about how... Oh, I think this chick is flirting with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pursue this because she said hi to me in a very certain way. That sounded like she was flirting with me. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh yes. <laughs> I have, no, seriously, I've got so here many comes, friends like that, dude. You're about to hear a string of unpopular opinions from me. Here's the first one. Go for it. All right. You should not be in quote a relationship until you are 18 or older, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I will have to agree that with that. Sense. I feel like some people, kids are getting into relationships nowadays. Like elementary school kids and middle school kids. If your parents have to drive oh, yeah, you dude. to your date, you don't. You shouldn't be dating. That should be like a general rule of thumb. No. Yeah, yeah. That, that obvious rule of thumb. So, I mean, I know some people will say as low as, you know, 16. I disagree with that. I, I I have a little brother, I mean, and they his friends usually talk about. Oh yeah, this this girl fancies me at school. I'm just like, I, I didn't fancies. even care I, I about like that the opposite fancy. gender at that age. I used to like beat them up so more than I yep. dang well wanted a relationship with them. 
it, it, it's it's definitely different for boys than it is for girls. I'm really about to start showing my homeschooler pretty soon. Right, here. Uh, dude. I was but just like, gonna, okay, yeah. yeah. Just go for We're it. We're about to dating yeah, yeah, got, versus it. courting. Right. Dating versus courting. Let's do this. And if you actually know the difference, good for you. Good, yeah, dating good on you. absolutely pointless. You should never quote date in the sense that I'm using it. Courting is the only real purpose of getting into a relationship. If you are not go are, if you are not going after a guy or girl with the intent of finding out if they are marriage material, there's no point to it whatsoever. Ooh. Long, well, like, like long Taylor Swift said, absolutely no relationships point. and stuff. Ooh. There, like there oh, I know, so can, I know what he's saying. Find, right. Yeah, because no, I've I heard people say that they get into relationships just to be in a relationship. But what does that really mean? Right. That is Isn't gone. Right, like exactly. at the end of the day, you're in a relationship because you want to spend time with someone for like the long term. Isn't right, that right why exactly. It, that, that's why you should be pursuing a relationship. Relationships yeah. are long term investments into people. You want someone that you're willing to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah, you want if a not, life if, partner. I, right. That's if the point. Of just hook up, do dating you just hook someone, up? if you like never, it's never going to last. Right. The idea of it being practice is stupid. And of course, and, I mean. And, it's very different too because I mean I would assume we're we're both really also talking about like younger teenage age stuff you know you know once you get into oh, yeah. adult yeah that's that's a whole different thing but where we where we came from and where our audience is yeah it's teenagers right teenagers wanting to date teenagers wanting to do stuff uh, early teenagers it's maybe hormones get over early it college, right. you don't need to be in a relationship <laughs> you, you are not looking you I mean, literally you at the most have a part time job. Full, okay. Probably at a yeah. retail Full, fast food place. Not knocking that, but what if, what were you expecting? You know, it's not, that's not a place where you can say, I want to have a long-term relationship at. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe like... we should have done this earlier on, but full disclosure, what, quote-unquote, is everyone's actual experience? Because I, ha- I had a girlfriend I was courting at one point that was years ago, don't anymore. I don't know about the rest of you. Uh, um... I am currently uh, in a relationship. Or if we, or if we even had... want to disclose that information. Yeah, okay, actually, right. no, then you're in an interesting place here because you are the only one who's currently in a relationship. Yeah, I'm currently in a relationship, and I've been in several others, of course, high school relationships. Those kind of things that are never really meant to last. Yeah, mm-hmm. they didn't last. But this one <laughs> has been going strong Surprise. for about... This one's been going strong for about two years. Um, yeah, you had your anniversary not that long ago. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I guess you could call Can it I anniversary. Say I also hate the idea of dating anniversaries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I was saying. I guess you could call that's, it that's that more because of a pet I peeve, like though. I like to, of it's course, of associate anniversaries with the actual marriage, but obviously that's not something that I or my girlfriend have like thought about. Right now, we're just trying right. to we're just trying to do our own thing and establish ourselves as people before we can even like begin to think about um, supporting each other. We have to support ourselves before we can support another person. Right. Yeah. That's actually really important. That's a thing I think a lot of people don't quite understand when they try to get into relationships. You should never try to pursue any kind of relationship with any other person and expect to grow close to that person if you haven't even found yourself yet. If you're still not confident yeah, in yourself okay, or understand who you are or, or if what you're things bored. you like. Or, yeah, or if you're just bored. Like, no. If you, you, yeah, no. You have you to know need who to... you are and what you like beforehand. Right. Yeah. You cannot say, my life is empty, I need someone in it. No. Your life yeah. should be well-defined. You should know what you want to do. You shouldn't be going, I've got nothing to do, I don't know what I like. And No. The, right. Our relationship the other person isn't... in the relationship should not be filling a hole in your life. Yeah, it's they not just a pass the time. It. Yeah. Yeah. I agree yeah. on that. Well, and... <laughs> No, it's like yeah, a, it's so like that... a hobby, for, I feel, for some people. Like, the relationship is just oh, like is. a hobby. It is. Oh, yeah, well, they like, just go around dating just because just it keeps them people, happy. For a lot of people... Right. For a lot of people, yeah, relationships are a hobby or it's a trophy. Right. It's like that's something to show it's off. It's a badge. It's, so it's like, hey, a badge. Yeah. I'm part of it. I got, I the got, horrible, a, I, was, you know, I was impressive enough that a girl liked me. Club. The horrible thing is, is that a lot of guys that I attract are exactly like that. Uh, you attract. Oh, I can't even I'm use the part, word to part describe of the guys you attract. Yeah, yeah, you attract jerks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, okay, yeah, that's like the more tame way of saying it. That's the more tame way. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know what? Uh, I really want to share. I've never been in a relationship. Well, I have been in two relationships. None of them have lasted, and they have been quite eye-opening. 
as far as maturing and understanding myself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying wait around until you find the one you're sure is it that you will marry. Right. No. Right. Yeah. yeah. You I do need that's like, when, I, when I say dating to do. Yeah. Because even if you court a person and it ends up not leading to marriage, that is still life experience, lessons Lesson. learned. Yeah, because you, yeah. you also I get need more time to explain what courting actually is. But I, I feel like too many people don't know yeah. what it is. I mean, I guess maybe if you like have seen the Duggars or something, then you have some vague idea of this old ancient ritual that people do in your head. <laughs> and it's not really what it is at all. But like, I don't know. We're kind of running short on time. I wish we could do like a multi. Part Basically, yeah, don't, it's don't okay worry. to just, be dating. Just, keep about it. just right. don't take it too seriously because, of course, dating is kind of like it kind of is a part it's of in- life. <laughs> you know, you it it, it does. Um, in my interview. experience, it it also has been part of a kind of identifying myself, like what I really want. And of course, some right. people even find out at the end of like high school, oh, uh, pff, all those relationships I got into were just wastes of time, or not waste of time, but um nothing to really get too invested into it was just part of like uh and these I, I people think figuring out what they want in their future that's sort of where and, what takuma mentioned earlier when he was like a lot of people consider it practice and that's kind of bs but at the same time whenever you like th- those experiences are good to help you learn w- what you truly like who yeah. you're actually trying to pursue the difference kind of is you should be he practicing you should, quote, practicing in a relationship that you think might go somewhere instead of right. just one you won't at, you know, shouldn't you go know, into a relationship you know it's not going to work out you shouldn't try to beta test quote. somebody basically yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like because it's, it's, like, it's biased it's like, information yeah it's, like it's you biased start, information you gotta do it with something you want to do you can't take those experiences with something you knew you knew wasn't going to work and apply it to something that might work right right <laughs> two different volumes and this is where I want to put in the probably the greatest piece of advice I have ever heard and a lot of people are probably going to just I'm just I don't care go for it this is truth and I will preach it yeah go ahead. simply put simply put the um, I don't remember exactly who told it to me once but he said you don't fall in love with a person until after you're engaged to be married hmm hmm, hmm. see Which, this is interesting uh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. The point. Uh, it, the uh, point behind it is you keep this. the blinders up. You can't let yourself become too invested in a relationship because right. that will make it harder to get out of when it. Right. When your sensible self will tell you it's not going to work. If you fall right. in love first, then you're not, at that point your heart's in it. You're going to stop listening to reason. Yeah, when you say, you, "Okay, you we don't ahead. agree on this. We don't agree on this." No. Fe- Figure out if you are compatible before you get yourself emotionally invested into it. Up right. until the point where th- the other person agrees to get engaged, it should be like an interview. Now, I'm not saying you just sit down across from a table and go down a survey and say, okay, is this, 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 this. No. Go out. Have fun. Get to know them as a person. But don't get emotionally in- over-invested in it. Yeah, because then that way you'll start. Don't fall in love until you're right. engaged to be married. I mean, you kind of like after a, that you kind of point, put like a shade after that point, over everything that yeah. You've... After that point, you've already figured everything out. You don't need to worry about the blinders coming on. It as much. sounds right. so much easier and in theory. This is this is why there's such yeah, a easy. big that's stigma. That's easier said than done. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I'm but not saying it's like a huge though. stigma against uh, the friend zone, which is not a, like. It's really a stupid thing that people do not like the friends. It, it really is. Can it's we, like irrationally we, stupid. Uh, you know what? Can we talk about how the fact the fact that the uh, the friend zone is complete BS and that's just an excuse I, for I people, that people use yeah. because to hate on chicks that right. don't want to date them. Exactly. I've, I've lived in the friend zone all my life and it's not too bad. <laughs> No, the friend zone doesn't exist. It's just yeah. I don't feel I know, like dating you. That's it. That's it. That was people, right. que- people use yeah, the friend zone as an excuse against girls. Right. I know, yeah, like, oh was... man, this that that girl totally friend zoned me. She won't I give me have... a chance. No. Right. She just doesn't want to date you, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, I agree very much. I, I absolutely hate that. Like, <laughs> the real thing. There's this zone thing the funny... where it's, you're shaming somebody for not wanting to date you. Like, what? Where did this come from? How did? <laughs> where did you get this the idea funny... that you deserve to be dating somebody right now? That's not oh a thing. Oh my god. Yeah. It's like they're entitled. If you're disappointed, you, you are entitled because to be they said no. And you're just a friend. You're 
quote your relationship, quote unquote, up to that point, not talking, you know, like romantic relationship, but your relationship at that point must have been founded on nothing. There must have not have been a very strong <laughs> right. foundation. Yeah, if I as was... soon as they, you're rejected, you're like, oh, well, this person's oh, wrong. Oh, man, I, I have a like really good wrong. story yeah. in I... regards to if all this discussion. If you were actually friend-zoned, you'd be like, okay, at least we're still friends. That's cool. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Every we, time need, some... we need to have every... a part two. Yeah, every time <laughs> I, I someone... feel like we need a part two. Sorry, every time someone, like, I have to say no to someone, I just think if they hate me afterwards, I'm like, well, you weren't a very worthy partner to be with anyway if I did say yes. No, yeah. Yeah. You're not a good Absolutely. friend. You're not a good Absolutely. friend you if should, like your you friendship should... dissolves after you won't say yeah, you yes. Should exactly. Absolutely continue that. If that if you that person's actually... gonna drop drop ship as soon as you're like, yeah, I I, just, I don't really want to date that you, shows... then that person is not a good person to keep around. Yeah, that, that <laughs> shows the only reason they are around you is because they they were attracted to you. Right. right. They thought there was and a that's chance. not a good person to be. Why would you want anyway, that as there a friend? There needs to be a foundation for a relationship. Yeah. Common ground. Other than I think you're pretty to look I at. I think you're hot. <laughs> then I'm curious about yeah, the story. Okay. Just I wanna throw this out there. You wanna attract a girl, don't call them hot. <laughs> it's really cringy. Yeah, not me, unless you're with because them either, already. Because they could use the confidence you, boosts. <laughs> yeah, 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 wait yeah, wait till you're actually Be classy is all I'm saying. You gotta yeah, be don't, classy. Yeah. Don't be you a don't call them hot, don't be dude. A nice you call them guy. sexy. You call them sexy mamas. When you see a very beautiful woman down the street, Shut up, you friend. call out to her and be like, Hey, no, you're don't sexy. Call out. We just went over this. <laughs> Whoa, hey, All right, regression. Mama. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, hypocritical man beast. <laughs> All right, Ben. Ben, what is, your, what is your story? I'm curious. My story uh, does not regard me. It regards a friend who okay. basically has broken every single rule that we have established in this episode and I'd like to explain it in a different episode like I'm saying we should do a sequel to this topic right relationships I mean, to electric technically we're, 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 we're already here to record two TTV talks so we could just go ahead and keep going why the heck not let's do it relationships one All right. relationships so two. yeah I got this friend man <laughs> um let's see <laughs> let's, uh, let's call him what, what's a night? Nice, what's well, an first, name first, we can call him? let's go ahead and end this TTV talks by saying, "Tune in next week for part two where Vin goes over his story with his friends." <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> thanks for. Oh, I'm sure. Kai thanks will for joining us, everybody. Some stories too. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably have some yeah, stories. I got, I got some stories. I got some stories. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Sounds fun. Uh, right. I also uh, need to so say yeah. that uh, that everything's been solved. Otherwise, we'll be like, "Oh no!" <laughs> we'll we'll go into a bit more detail about this on the next part, which will be released the week, the following week. So, thank you all for listening. I'm Bardaran. I'm Kahi. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. I'm Takuma And this has been TTV Talks Part One. Join us next week. Goodbye. AudibleDraw.com/ttv. Watch us on Vessel. We don't have a, we have a URL. Uh...